Here are five advantages of having the high ground. Presented by Fortnite Master. Okay, he has high ground. Guess what I do? Four months, Guess what I do, Jack? More to come. You're the what am I gonna do? Bah! Where are you going? My high ground now. You say my high ground now? My high ground now, boy. My high ground now? My high ground now. I have the high ground! <laughs> In a lot of our building guide videos, we've been providing you with strategies to help you get the high ground, but it recently occurred to us that we never actually explained why it's important. For the players that are new to shooting games, they might not necessarily understand. In today's video, we're going to go over the distinct advantages that you get when you have the high ground and why you should never underestimate its power. One of the main advantages that comes with the high ground is better vision and awareness. When you have the ultimate high ground, meaning nobody is above you, you can track everyone's position much easier because they're all below you. You don't have to worry about looking up or getting shot from above. Your only concern is tracking enemies below you and blocking anybody trying to retake height. This is especially important when you're fighting more than one person at a time. Looking down is much more natural too. You can shoot, build to maintain height, and track opponents all while looking down. If you're on the low ground, it's much more difficult to track all of the players around you because they can come from so many different angles. Imagine a 2v1 situation in which somebody is pushing into your turtle from the side while another player is spraying you from above. This situation is much harder to overcome than if they were both below you spraying or trying to build up and retake height. When you have the high ground, both players are forced to engage from below, making it easier to maintain good vision and awareness. High ground also lets you control the pace of the fight. You have the unique option to drop down and surprise somebody below you. Think about how much faster it is to fall than to build up three stories. And if somebody wants to engage you, they have to put in a lot more effort, like waiting for you to peek, building to retake height, or trying to knock you down. In all three of these situations, however, the person with the high ground can make a different play to counter the person on the low ground. The control lies almost completely with the person that has height, while low ground forces you to react a lot more to the decisions of the person with height. Piggybacking off the last point, high ground lets you choose and control the peaking angles. Low ground peaks can be effective, but the player with the height has to either peak or leave themselves exposed for the low ground player to get a shot. The decision of which angle to peek and how to peek it belongs to the player on the high ground. They can choose to peek at any angle or even make new angles with edits. And the low ground player is just forced to react. That's why it might seem extremely difficult to play low ground against a player who knows what they're doing because a good player knows exactly how to protect themselves and pick and choose their peaks. High ground lets you control peaks and pace of the fight, but it also provides you superior peak angles. It's much easier to land headshots looking down on somebody than it is looking up. Looking down on a player, their head will be a big part of their hitbox, making it easier and more likely for you to land those headshots. This does not mean that other players won't be able to shoot back at you when you peek, but rather it should be easier for you to land headshots and deal more damage. If you peek from predictable angles, any good player is going to trade back for some decent damage, even if you have high ground. That's why you need to take advantage of the control that high ground gives and be creative and unpredictable with your peeks. High ground does not automatically win you every fight. It just gives you more control and some advantages to work with. Neither does it prevent you from taking fall damage or getting your builds knocked down. These are both things you must consider when building up. It isn't wise to build up more than three levels higher than your opponents because they can easily knock you down and cause you to take fall damage. Planes are also more likely to attack, knock out, or even dive bomb players on high ground. There is not much you can do to prevent this, but there are two pretty good ways to counter it. The first is to continually build walls until the plane is close enough to hijack, or you can simply drop down and reposition to avoid aggro planes. High ground doesn't prevent you from getting sniped or third partied either. In fact, you're more likely to get third party while on high ground because you're probably the first person that third parties will see. You can, however, accommodate by covering yourself from all angles when you're peeking or camping for long periods of time. You can also move and or jump when you expose yourself to take shots. And finally, having the high ground is far from absolute. It seems like there are always new, tricky ways that players are learning to retake height. Whether it's blocking you with a pyramid, then building up, or pulling some unique edits and maneuvers to confuse you, good players will easily retake height if you are not aware and ready to react.
Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be alerted whenever we release a new video. If you love our content, feel free to share it with your friends, family, distant relatives, your dog, or any other loved ones. From all of us at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.